I spun him around and performed a disarming van maneuver. I made sure to close my eyes like a man. Close your eyes like a man. Uh, I uh, see. He must have been desperate. The next thing I knew, his white coat was drenched in a sea of my blood. And then... Then, the next thing I knew... Yes? He punched me right in my face, sir. After that, I passed out. Until another officer smacked me awake. About what time did you regain consciousness? No offense, sir. But how am I supposed to know that? I was unconscious. Oh, right. According to the report from the officer that woke up the witness, it was about 5.30. He hit me right in the head too. I woke up crying tears of pain. That's nice. Uh, I mean, it's nice that he <laughs> recovered, that is. When I came around though, I made sure to finish my mission, sir. Your mission? Yeah, the blue badger, right? Yes, sir. The blue badger, sir. I returned him to the entrance before things got out of hand. Before things got out of hand. <laughs> I do believe that everything went out of hand already, but okay. Well, we can all rest easy now. <laughs> I believe we now have a fairly accurate picture of what happened. Yes, your honor. Only one thing remains unclear. Was the man this officer... Was the man this officer murdered really the victim? He's got a point. Um... Yes, Officer Meekins? With regard to that, sir... Take a look at this. It was sent to my jail sen cell. Chief Gann delivered it to me. Just this morning, sir. Yeah. Something is wrong with Chief Gant. Something is wrong. The Chief? Delivered it? What is that? A uh, videotape? Yes, sir. That's absolutely right, sir. A videotape, sir. It contained footage from the security camera in the evidence room. Oh. That could be very useful. What? But I specifically asked if there was such a tape and was told it had been mistakenly erased. That's quite a mistake. I just do what I'm told, sir. It's the only thing I'm really good at. Looks like communication with the police department is as good as ever. Well then, let's have a look. Show us the video of your murdering the victim. Oh. Please stop using that word, murder, sir. It scares me. A video of a real murder. Just what are we getting ourselves into? <laughs> Was it on? <laughs> oh. You can't... Oh, well. You can't even see the face, though. It's not Goodman. It's somebody else. Yeah. God damn it. Blue Badger. <laughs> With his flag. Now he's gone and... He's on the ground. No? Oh. Oh, wow. Ah, <laughs> uh, so funny that the <laughs> that flag covered his face every time. This time also, right? No, where is he? Where did he go? wasn't useful at all. <laughs> well, I believe we're all thinking the same thing. 
How can we deal with these unsettling feelings stirred within us? What the hell was that wriggling piece of plywood? Sir, that's the pride and joy of the entire criminal affairs department, sir. It's the blue badger, sir. Why am I not surprised this isn't going smoothly? Video from the security camera placed in the evidence room. Is that really going to help us though? Really? Yes. Well, anyway. This tape seems to prove that the witness did indeed encounter... Uh, someone. <laughs> in the evidence room. And sort of uh, activity. Your Honor, instead of relying on, on clearly incomplete footage, the witness's testimony will suffice. Is that alright with you, Officer Meekins? Yes, sir. As you wish, sir. Mr. Man. Okay. His face can't be clearly seen in the video. But there's no question that the other person was Detective Goodman, sir. No question at all? Really? I mean, he opened the locker, which required Detective Goodman's fingerprint to do. The locker ha he opened is unquestionably Detective Goodman's locker, sir. So it must be him. No one else could have unlocked it. Maybe it was unlocked already, though. What's this about the fingerprint? Each detective has been given a locker equipped with a fingerprint activated lock. These locks ensure that each locker can only be opened by the detective it belongs to. Intriguing. That would mean the victim at the crime scene would have to have been Detective Goodman. Very well. The defense may begin its cross-examination. I don't know where this cross-examination will lead. But everything begins with contradictions. That's where I have to start. Okay. His face can't be clearly seen in the video. Tell me, were you able to get a good look at him? I don't think so. At the face of the man who attacked you with a knife? S sir, if you must label people as having seen or not seen the man's face, I believe it would be classified as the latter. The latter? I believe I would be classified as the ladder? Ladder? But you were standing right in front of him, weren't you? Were you not? More to the point, you are the person who fought him, aren't you? Oh, yes sir, but I didn't get a clear look at his face, sir. I'm not the kind of guy who looks directly at people when talking with them, you see? Yeah, that's a good trait for a police officer. <laughs> Still, I'm sure it was him. I'd bet my badge on it. But there's no question that the other person was the. But there's no question that the other person was Detective Goodman, sir. But you don't know that for sure, do you? You never actually saw Detective Goodman's face. Well, I suppose you might say that. He's just totally relying on the thing. The thing that uh, he could open his his locker, or probably not his locker, but that locker. That is, if you must label people as having seen or not seen it, since his face can't be identified in a way that only you can verify. It. Why is everyone looking at me? If I had to label your stares as disturbing or Meekins! Hey! <laughs> Having been shown a questionable video at best, we are not in the best of moods. Now please be more certain when you testify. Y yes, sir. You claim the man who brandished a knife on you was Bruce Goodman. Tell us why you are positive it was him. I mean, he opened the locker, which required Detective Goodman's fingerprint to do. 